Right, this is a continuation of St. Austell visit 2007. When well, I've been to see some graves in the in St. Austell Cemetery and I'm making my way back through the town um, to have some lunch and then I'm going to go in the records into the library to look at some of the archives um, about the Barbaries and everything and Zara's ancestors in Cornwall. So here we go, back to the tape recording. Down through the park that I came through earlier. And, uh, of course, because people talk on their mobile phones a lot, people don't really take much notice of you if you're walking along talking these days. Walking back through the old cemetery, like I said, I did find a Barbary. Not a really ancient one, but could be a link. And there are more Barbaries, actually, in that Mavagasi burial ground. I might have to go back there. But I've got several other villages I've got to go to yet. Ladcock, St Moore's, and... Uh, But my trousers are quite wet now, so I've got to go and change. I am bursting for a wee as well. There's no toilets anywhere up there. I'm going back now past the, the love ring that greeted me. So love rings are quite popular here. Of course, the best thing about walking around on foot is that you do get to remember more. Because when you're driving, you're only really looking for the roads. Most of them tend to be one way. managed to get some more tapes. I'm back at the van now to have a pasty and a donut and a much earned cup of tea. Um, I still got, well I've only got about an hour left on the hour and 20 minutes left anyway on the thing. So I'm going to get change my trousers because these are soaked. My feet are wet. I don't know. What, I'll have to walk around with damp feet for now. Um, and then I have found the parish records. There's loads of volumes up there, so I should be spending the afternoon in the library. I should have bought myself a cheap pair of shoes. I should have bought spare shoes. So normally when I go around a graveyard, I wear my Wellington boots. But today. It was very misty. It's still misty, but it's getting brighter. I um, wore my shoes in there. I'm going to put my trousers on now and some socks, but my feet are still going to get me wet. That's a trouble. Trousers. I've changed my socks. Can have wet clothes in that car for a couple of days now. I had to do it when I found it because, um, you know, I had to spend bloody nine quid on a stupid film that only cost me four quid at the most somewhere else yesterday. There was a bloody little chemist out in the middle of nowhere that I was sent on a bloody magical mystery tour to find because I was near the cemetery, you see. Anyway, I only managed to find one Barbary in that grave. That doesn't mean there aren't more. But uh, I might be able to get a pot off the, the cemetery, but that might be from the council for another time. Oh, at least I've got some dry clothes on now. Feet 
feet are going to be wet though. I think I already brought one spare set of socks. Nice hot pasty now. Nice couple cups of tea. Then it might take. Well, like I said, I can't help it if I if I'm going to lose an hour. There's no point me going walking back up there now because it'll take half an hour to get back up there. That'll be up past twelve. I'd never get back here for one. It swings around about, you see. For five quid, I could have stayed for the whole day, I think, or it might have been four quid. So tempted to take me down in that quick fit over there and get the bloody exhaust fixed, but I might need an appointment. I've got lots of belongings in there. I don't need it. Oh, clean clothes. Let me feet dry out a bit as well. A minute. Right. Those are all paper. is making a flask up in the morning with hot water and then I don't have to keep putting the gas on and off. I just pour the hot water out the flask. The only problem I've got now is trying to find somewhere to park up near that library. The only alternative is to put another four quid in here. and find the place. It's up near the station, that way I've got to go. Right, nice cup of tea there. I wouldn't say there was anything special about St. Orsall. It's not as pretty as some places. It's not, I don't think much of it at all actually. Centre. It's a funny looking place. Quite grey and bleak really. Um, maybe I'm missing something. I'll have a drive round. Right, I've been to the library and looked through the marriage parish registers going back to about 1560 something. Got a few from different areas that I said like Laycock, Pro Provost, St. Hughes. Um, couldn't actually see Pen to win, so it must come under another district, I suppose. But I found um, two Peter Barberies anyway, and several up, those of others. Um, but I would need to do more hunting of graves, so I plan to go off and find um, a, a, a couple more uh, graveyards. There's several places I want to visit. I'm just deciding. Uh, Charlestown, she said there's a big cemetery between Charlestown and some bay, but I couldn't make out what she said. But um, wherever Charlestown is, so I'm going to have a look on the map now and see if I can locate this cemetery where a lot of people are buried now. I might do that this afternoon, then tomorrow I've got all these villages I'm going to visit um, where I found marriages and that. I've still got about three hours before it gets dark. Um, just hope the van doesn't play up because I think something serious is happening to it. It's been spluttering some sort of evil stuff over the back. But it did have a couple of um, firebacks. <coughs> One 
quite a big one when I was on the way down here, so that might have spluttered out something. I don't really know what it is, but I'll have to get it checked out. Right, I'm off to Charlestown now to find this cemetery um, between Charlestown and St. Austell Bay. Um, so this tape will be coming to an end in a minute. And I'll probably change this tape. Yep, it has come to an end. And um, it's just a, that was just a small narration on this particular part of the recording. So over and out for now, and I'll be coming back to, in Charlestown and other villages. <laughs>